Okay, we're going to look at scale factors and enlargement. And I want you to write this down in your books. So scale factor, that would seem a bit strange. It's the new side over the old side. And if you remember that, you should be able to answer any question. So this is the first wee example I want you to copy down. And then to, I'll answer it in a different colour so you can see it. I've got two triangles. I've got the wee triangle at the top. And this side is four. And I've got a big triangle. B, A, 7.5, C. And this B, C is six. Before I do anything, I've got to find the scale factor. So it's the new side over the old. So six over four, one and a half. And basically, what this means, as I am going up this shape, I times it by one and a half. And if I was going back to the smaller shape, you divide by one and a half. Once you get to that stage, you've got the question pretty much answered. Now, I want to find DE. Now, where's DE? It's this line here. So I'm going backwards. So I'll take 7.5 and I'll divide. 1.5. So DE is 7.5 divided by 1.5. So just in your calculators to give you 5. Okay. So that's your basics of scale factor. Now, another very, very important definition we're going to give you now. Next we example, sorry, before we go any further, you can see in these ones the scale factor. Remember, it is the new side over the old side. So the scale factor is four. So this triangle is four times this one. So you times four to go up, and you divide by four to go down. But this question has got a wee sting in the tail. It's asked, talking about the area. Now, so in your notes, so the area is the scale factor squared. Okay. Now you're told the small circle and it wants you to work out the area of the large circle. So what you're going to do there is your new area is your scale factor squared times the old area. So your scale factor is 4, so it's 4 squared times 50.3. So 16 times 50.3 gives you an answer of 804.8 centimetres squared. Okay, so scale factor is new side over old side, but when you have area, it's scale factor squared. Next week example, two rectangles, and that's 29.7. Now you're told the area of the large one is double the small one, and this is even more complicated. So your area scale factor is double, it's two. So your area scale factor is two. It then wants me to work out the breadth of the smaller one. So I know the area scale factor. So the length scale factor, let's think about this. You know why the area is a scale factor squared? So if I went back just to find the ordinary length scale factor, I'm going to square root it. So basically, as I go up, I will times by root 2. And as I go back, I divide by root 2. Now the question wants me to work out the small, I'll just call that x. So x equals 29.7 divided by root 2. So that is very tricky question there, giving you 21 centimetres. Okay. Right, over the page, I'm sure you probably guess what's going to come, volume. Volume is scale factor cubed. Okay, scale factor cubed. So, let's look here. Now, how do you work out your scale factor? Do you remember how to do that? Scale factor 
is new side of roll side. I mean, I don't have the sides. I've only got the volumes. So I can work out the volume scale factor. So it's the new volume over the old volume. So the volume scale factor is 4. So the volume scale factor is 4. So how would I work out the length scale factor then? Now if the volume scale factor is cubed, if you want to go back just to your ordinary length, it's the cube root of 4. Now if you look at your calculators, see there, that's your cube root. So you go shift cube root 4 and you get 1.587. So basically, as you go up the shape, you times by 1.587. And as you go back, you divide by 1.587. The question wants to find the large diameter. So it's looking for this length. So x is the scale factor times 5, or 5 times 1.587. Just on your calculator, times that by 5 to give you 7.9 centimetres.